So the number one question that most dropshippers ask, especially at the beginning, is should I use one product store or a general store when testing out new products? Most known gurus tell you conflicting information, so it's really hard to know which one is best to use. So in this video, we're going to put all the assumptions aside and we're going to take a real life data from the experiment that I did yesterday to determine which store you should choose to get the best results. Stay tuned. Welcome back guys. Now for those of you who are my returning viewers, thank you so much for watching another video. I absolutely love having you here. Please leave your comments down below and I'll make sure to reply to every single one of them personally. Now, if you're new here, however, my name is Jacob Wikowski, and at the beginning of this year, as a complete newbie, I decided to put this entire dropshipping industry to test. I wanted to see if it really is as easy and effortless to succeed with dropshipping as a newbie as all those dropshipping gurus make it look like. How to become rich? No, no, how I'm, I'm asking. Now, in all honesty, it was very hard journey. The first seven months, I lost over $18,000, tested over 25 different products, made a bunch of mistakes, and nothing has worked for me. So it definitely wasn't as easy as I was expecting it to be. However, in the middle of July, I finally found my first winning product. And only two months later, I recovered all of the losses that I gathered in the first seven months. And till this day, I'm making huge profits every single day with the same product. So dropshipping is definitely working. It's definitely profitable and well worth it. However, you do have to have a lot of patience and resilience when getting into this business. Now you can watch my entire journey on this YouTube channel starting from day one. So go ahead and watch that after this video. So let's get back to the topic of this video. Should you go with one product store or a general store when testing out new products? See, yesterday I decided to take my own money and run a real life test. I wanted to put this entire debate to the end once and for all. The end has come. What I decided to do is to take my winning product, which is selling very well right now in a one product store and put it inside general store with the exact same product page, the exact same colors, the exact same text, the exact same reviews, and obviously the same price, and the same offer. So basically, if you land it on the product page in a one product store or general store, it's all the same. You wouldn't see any difference. Everything looked exactly the same. The only difference between those two stores was that one product store obviously was a lot more branded. The name of the brand related to the product. When people landed on the homepage, it looked like a branded store. It was only everything about this one product. As opposite to a general store, the name was more generic name, universal name. And also when people would land on a homepage, they would see other products inside the store and it wasn't as brand towards this one product as one product store. That was the only difference. However, most people say that when people land on a product page, they would never go outside of it, right? They wouldn't check out your homepage. So it doesn't really matter whether you use one or the other. But is that actually the truth? Let's find out. So this is my TikTok ads manager. As you can see, we had two different campaigns running yesterday. The first one is a general store campaign. The second one is one product store. Now it's worth to mention that for both of those campaigns, I used the exact same ads, the exact same settings, and even the exact same pixel. So there was no difference at all in any of the settings or anything other than basically the homepage of those two stores. That's, that's all it is and the brand name. So let's take a look closer. You can see that both of those campaigns had pretty much the same cost. So cost per click for general store was $1.09 per click on average with one product store was $1.13. So four cents difference. Not a lot, right? So the cost of the ads was pretty much the same, right? What we had to pay to TikTok to show our ads to 1000 people was pretty much the same. Okay, great. Now as a total cost, you can see that the general store has spent $672, whereas one product store spent $875. And I'll explain why in a second. But before I do that, let's hop on to both of the stores 
and let's take a look how many sales they actually generated. So starting with general store, we have spent $672 on ads, generated $714 in sales. So immediately we can see it's not very well. 710 sessions, which basically is 19 orders. Okay, not the best, but what happened in one product store? Because maybe it was similar data. So with one product store, we have, we have spent $875, we generated $2,254, 1,199 sessions, and 64 orders altogether. So right out of the gate, we can see that the one product store is a huge, huge winner. But you may say, okay, however, one product store has spent more money. Well, the reason behind it is that when I was running ads for both of the stores, at the end of the day, none of the ad groups inside the general store campaign was bringing any sales. It was losing money all the time. So at the end, I decided to switch it off because it just didn't make sense. There was no way that this store would catch up with one product store after it was already losing by twice as many orders, if you like. So let's take a look at the summary. The general store had generated 19 sales, which was $714 in revenue with the ad spend of $672. Now transactional fees and cost of goods. So altogether we have lost $286 in a general store. However, with one product store, we generated $64 Revenue was $2,254, ad spent $875, with transactional fees and cost of goods, we still profited $411. Now, if you take a look at the conversion rates, like one product store's conversion rate is just a killer, 5.34% conversion rate, as opposite to general store, only 2.68%. Now. What is the moral of this story and this entire experiment? If I was only testing this product, obviously I know this is a winner because it brings me profits every single day. But if I didn't know it was a winner and this was just a testing phase, I would say to myself, this is a losing product. I'm not gonna run ads to it anymore. And I would have moved on to the next product one more time. However, as you can clearly see, had I put this same product in one product store that is designed better, that has more branded name and basically looks more branded, it would actually be a winning product. I wouldn't lose money. I would actually make money and probably continue making money with this product because it's a winning product. So from now on, I will 100% only use one product stores when testing out new products. The data doesn't lie right? Market doesn't lie. We can assume one or the other is better, but the data shows you exactly what you should do. So hopefully you liked that video and this will help you to make the decision whether you should do one product stores or general stores for your testing products. And for now, if you like this video, make sure to leave it a thumbs up, make sure to subscribe to the channel, leave your comment down below. And one more time, thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one. Take care.